Welcome to the new Nehemiah Wealth Building Agenda for Spiritual Multiplicity Peneurs uh, Mini Course Preview Part 2. I am the Chief Spiritual Multiplicity Pioneer and also uh, the New Era Empire developer, Allie Nicole Wow, most known in the media as Allie Nicole Wow. She does it all. And once again, I am joined by the Multiplicity Mound Builder, Joseph L. Jones Jr. Just a little bit of background about uh, what we do. We are the creators of the Multiplicity Monument Empires and also the Multiplicity Marketplace uh, Media Tours. What we do is we provide a variety of platforms that um, help to develop new era multiplicity uh, entrepreneurs at various levels. Um, if you haven't listened to the first preview session, I'm going to recommend that you pause this session and check in the description box for the link to the previous session so that you can listen to that and be up to speed with what we are going to be talking about today. Today, we're actually going to be sharing within this second preview about our forthcoming mini course, and it is the new Nehemiah Wealth Building Agenda for Spiritual Multiplicity Preneurs. And before we uh, get started, I just want to bring Joseph in so we can have some conversation and then come right into uh, what we're going to share today. So, Joseph, I'm excited that you are here with me once again and just ready to talk about uh, just more around this mini course. Well, it's always good to be here and always good to be in conversation with you and sharing in this upcoming mini series yes. and witnessing what we're experiencing in this time and mm -hmm. hopefully and certainly providing insight and help for business owners and individuals who are at the starting block ready to take advantage of what's taking place right now. Mm. Yes, yes, I, I, I couldn't agree with you more. And we certainly are in very unique times. They're, they're interesting times, but they are unique in nature because as we know, there's been a lot going on and it's been really a new birthing and a new shift uh, that is uh, taking place. And so it's exciting because many people have been on the, the cusp or on the edge, if you will, in terms of wanting a new direction and how to utilize and leverage different aspects and areas, you know, of their, their giftings. And that's what's really being uh, called for during this time, Joseph. And as in the last uh, session that we talked about in the first preview, we introduced uh, three core areas of focus that were for building what we call a new temple of a spiritually aligned entrepreneur. And this is in addition to leveraging this new uh, Nehemiah agenda for the, the wealth building uh, perspective and bringing in the building a new vibration versus a, a rebuilding aspect. And so we touched you know, on that uh, the last time. So I just want to recap those three uh, core areas of focus before we go into what we're going to talk about today. So uh, those three areas, the first area was about building uh, the new self agenda. And the second core area was about building uh, the new health agenda. And then the third uh, key area of focus was building the new uh, wealth agenda. And if you go back and listen to the, the previous uh, session, you will know kind of the breakdown and why these particular areas were very important to uh, be the foundational premise before we actually start uh, talking about the entrepreneurial building aspects in terms of the brand and the business, but also the, the higher wealth structures of what we are calling a wealth habitation. So, um, and Joseph, of course, you agree that, uh, you know, that those three core areas were certainly signature to the foundation before we even start building structures. And today we are going to talk a little bit about uh, structures. Well, I certainly have to touch and agree on that, starting, of course, with the self, because 
the self is where everything begins, is where everything takes place. Yes. Nothing truly exists outside of the self. So that's always the starting point. And then from there, you have to have a healthy self. That's right. Because your health actually becomes your wealth later on. Yes. But you have to be in a place where you are well and vibrant and living an optimal life. Absolutely. And then, of course, that becomes wealth. And then you attract more wealth and more material things, as well as wisdom and understanding and all of those mm. things as well. That's all captured in the wealth aspect. So yes. all of those three play together very well, mm -hmm. but it's centered within the self. Yes, yes, in the new self. Absolutely, you're right, yeah. And uh, because we know that the former self, even in its good and best expression, uh, pales in comparison to the new emerging self, the, the, the new entity and expression of, of self. Before, you know, we talked more about metaphorically uh, the caterpillar vibration of humanity and the marketplace. And going through the metamorphosis um, from a human perspective, a business perspective, a marketplace perspective, uh, a wealth perspective, uh, we come into these completely different entities of who we are um, to play out in these higher expressions. And that's why it's no longer time to play to the rebuilding energy, but the, the new creation. But I did mention that in, within the course, there is the opportunity to go back and do rebuilding in uh, some core areas, but the primary focus has to be on the new structures uh, first, and then can sort of learn how to play from both sides of the track in the letting go of the old uh, as you are continuing to build the new and then rebuilding parts of the current reality that can then be supportive um, and cohesive uh, order with the new uh, structure. So what I want to do today, uh, Joseph, is just touch on uh, three solid success structures for building a new and again, of course, this is under the new Nehemiah wealth building, um, you know, agenda. So uh, to continue to now put structure uh, and build upon the foundation, which has been laid within the first part is the first uh, solid success structure that we need to build a new is the new spiritually aligned um, entrepreneurial success structures. These have to be in place. So um, what this is about is really being more awake to our highest and best good, but also applying more intentionality to the developmental process. And in doing so, you start using this higher level of consciousness to um, assist with the building efforts. So this starts by first aligning with uh, right divine frameworks, also creating the spiritual multiplicity models to set up as the chief cornerstones of success. Uh, something I also want to mention, this involves um, a higher level of development and evolution in the areas, Joseph, of our personal, professional, and spiritual mastery. And something even more exciting is that in doing so, this starts to actually introduce the uh, spiritual multiplicity mound building principles uh, for being able to have this type of empire established because with the principles that you teach within the pyramid uh, and it being a holistic framework that is part of that personal professional and spiritual educational um, you know mastery it is really the evolutionary journey because the journey is one spiritual journey in a sense and not again in a religious context but being able to then have those dimensions multiplied um, and you know play out within the mound building principles is really key so i'm looking forward to um, that part of the course being more expanded to that the individuals who will be participating you know within the course will get the maximum benefit um, of 
having this first uh, solid success structure um, is part of the new you know, framework. Um, the second one is the new multiplicity branding and business success structures, um, which is vital, obviously. And as you know, what we teach about the diversity and the multiplication and the maximization in order for the monetization to take place. So this is about diversifying one's branding in order to start the uh, multiplication process um, in the areas such as, you know, just a variety of the skills, uh, the talents, uh, just different areas of expertise. And this lends itself for building these successful business structures, but you have to start obviously with the branding first, but these business structures for uh, the um, higher levels of impact and income. So this is, you know, a very, very exciting one because it starts to prime the pump. And that's really what the multiplicity energy, uh, which there are different categories, obviously, of the, uh, the multiplicity uh, aspect, but this starts to prime the pump for setting up more of the higher revenue, um, you know, structure. So with that being said, the third uh, one is new multiplicity wealth habitation success structures. So this is about harnessing that co-creative power to get wealth. And we learn about God gives us power to get wealth in Deuteronomy 8, 18. We, we learn about that vibration. So we want to harness this power in order to start creating these multiple streams of revenue that will cohesively create consistent financial overflow by way of leveraging, Joseph, as you know, the multiplication principles of the multiplicity entrepreneurship. And in the previous uh, session of that first you know, preview, we talked about uh, Elisha and the, and the widow's oil, the story in 2 Kings uh, 4. And we, we talked about that in, within the first uh, you know, uh, you know, chapter. So one through seven, we, we sort of talked about that. But I mentioned how that actually starts the introduction in a sense to the multiplicity uh, factor because when the prophet instructed the widow to go out and ask for the several jars, that was already in the vibration of get ready to multiply. Don't just go out and get a few. Go grab as many as you can so that once you've set things in place, then the oil will continue to flow. And we know that that oil is still flowing today through you know the the ancestors the the different uh, descendants you know from that time and but we can embody that concept and that energy today in real time as we set up these different wealth uh, habitations for ourselves and this is a different vibration i want to really make this distinction here this is a very different vibration than just multiple streams of income because you know joseph you and i have talked in other trainings about this that multiplicity is not just about uh in in terms of the the income factor it's not just about let me just go and see how many things i can um get and apply myself to in order to produce income now this is about uh your divine giftings coming forth to be expressed in multiple ways or sometimes it is just a concept or an idea that you will get and then it's multiplied there's different levels and dimensions of that one core thing that may come out where at other times it could be just a variety of your giftings that need to be showcased and i see those aspects as those are our jars and so we bring these forth so that they can get in position as our wealth habitation because what's been happening over the years is people have been having these visitations of wealth and success and different things but not necessarily the habitation where this is a residence here you know there's um the programming in a sense has been you get these miracles or these windfalls and you know just different things that happen and that's kind of under the old um, order and old structure so to speak 
but when in this new building this new holistic wealth agenda in the nehemiah principle um again it is a holistic perspective but the, the new vibration lends itself to where no this becomes a place of residence a a habitation within the mind a habitation within the beingness and then with those two obviously aligned and operating together then it plays out consistently in the external uh, reality so when these new structures are being set up what will happen is people will um, begin to experience i'm going to go over and get a few scriptures here um, from uh, Joel. Um, so give me just a moment here. Okay. Um, so in Joel 2.19, it says, the Lord replies to them, I am sending you grain, new wine, um, and olive oil enough to satisfy you fully. Never again will I make you an object of scorn to the nations. So when people start to prime the pump with this spiritual multiplicity, entrepreneurship energy, and building in this new Nehemiah, um, you know, wealth uh, agenda, so to speak, is that as the pump is being primed, then that's when the, the Lord will be sending these newer aspects of what uh, the participation level will be in this wealth habitation, showing different signs and elements of what's going to be coming forth in a fuller manifestation. So it's almost like raindrops in a sense before the flood, so to speak. But it's not something that just comes and then it goes. It, it comes and sets up again as a habitation, as a residency, and people now start to get used to this new um, way of experiencing life. Uh, another uh, scripture uh, reference within Joel, I want to also bring up here is, is Joel 2, uh, 25 through 27. It says, I will repay you for the years the locusts have eaten, the great locusts and the young uh, locusts, other, the other locusts and the locust swarms. Wow, just different dimensions of the locusts. Wow, that, you know, as we know in real time, we've experienced that. It's really sucked the life out of the whole of the greater part of humanity that could be expressed in opulence. It says, uh, my great army that I sent among you, uh, verse 26, you will have plenty to eat until you are full and you will praise the name of the Lord your God who has worked wonders for you. Never again will my people be shamed. Verse 27, then you will know that I am in Israel and that I am the Lord your God and that there is no other. Never again will my people be ashamed. And see, what that is really representing is when there's never any more shame, that means a habitation of eternity, in a sense, has been set up, that the oil will continue to flow, the barns will continue to be full, um, and people will be satisfied, never wanting for anything. The multiplicity entrepreneurship Joseph, as you know, has really been the missing piece and the chief cornerstone fixture, so to speak, that the builders have rejected in the marketplace because there's been this core focus on the, you know, the one niche models um, or this mastering sort of one skill in a sense and, and displaying that in terms of a vocation or a career, how people make their impact and their income. But as we know over the years, this has really put limitations on the greater gifts that God has given to mankind. It says, be fruitful and multiply, in which, you know, that is a, re, a spiritual reproduction in terms of our talents and the giftings that um, we have, a variety of gifts that we have that need to be leveraged in uh, really a variety of ways. And as we know, in this time for sure, this is about higher service. So this is why um, this new agenda, so to speak, and the order for building a new um, is really at hand. So Joseph, I definitely want to hear your thoughts, you know, around, you know, all of this, you know, as we are, you know, continuing with um, the, the prep for this course. And then after I'll share a few 
uh, helpful resources and, and things to get people started. But uh, yeah, definitely want to hear um, just your wisdom. Well, that is a well laid out blueprint for success, for moving forward and for moving forward in the right way. One of the things that I want to highlight is that first scripture you read when it was talking about um, three things. The first thing that resonated with me was when it talks about the grain, that speaks mm -hmm. more to the, the um, solidity of the structure yes. and the new spiritual alignment. Yeah, because yes. that represents the foundation, the grain being something that solid helps to represent mm -hmm. foundation. Then mm -hmm. when you talk about the wine, that speaks more yes. to the new multiplicity branding, because that's yes. a higher level of watering. And it mm. also wine helps to make things more digestible. It helped the wine helps to make what you're teaching and what you're branding much more digestible in the mm. minds and the hearts of those that are receiving it. And then lastly, we talk about the oil and mm. the anointing oil of wealth. Yes. You are yes. anointed with wealth internally and that wealth will, that oil will continue to flow, which means the wealth will continue to flow as yes. long as you are receiving that anointing of the oil. Mm. So it all works together. We're talking about this new spiritual alignment yes. and all of these components are necessary for it to work in the best possible way. So mm. you laid that out very, very dynamically. And that blueprint oh, is something you. that really needs to be looked into and followed much more deeply. Oh, thank you. I, wow, I'm, I'm just sitting here just basking in all of what you said and the breakdown of that trinity um, of the, the structures of, that was just magnificent. Um, as you always are such the high level articulator, you know, and, and bring this higher dimension of languaging and, and context to phrases and um, concepts. And wow, that was just uh, amazing, uh, just the way you, you laid that out. I mean, and that, that's just perfect, you know, and it makes me even more excited because of knowing what this particular mini course here is is going to do to really transform um, the spiritual community and again this is not in a religious context but it is in the spirit of man the 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 spiritual alignment to one's true connection to source power and source supply and being able to now demonstrate their divinity and entrepreneurship and everything you you said from the grain to the new wine and to just the, the flow of the oil um it just it's paramount in terms of how people start to move forward um and that is why as even that scripture talks about with those three components there's going to be enough to satisfy and it says fully and never again when you hear something as you know say never again that means that you're done with the phase of what was. That means right. that's the former things as Isaiah, um, you know, we, we learn about in Isaiah uh, that talks about the, the former things, you know, have passed. Uh, Isaiah 43, 18 and 19, the former things have passed. Don't even recall them. Don't even bring them to mind because behold, a new thing has emerged. And so this new vibration and the context of spiritual multiplicity is the new normal, as you know, we've already set that tone that it is the new normal moving forward. And so it's forgetting about the formal ways of doing things. If you want to be satisfied fully, as the scriptures say, and never again be an object of scorn to the nations, meaning never be in positions again where you got to, you know, be wondering where the next, um, meal is coming from you know more you know you're just barely making ends meet if you you never want to see that type of state of existing or existence because that's just existence that's that's not thriving if you want to get over into the thriving structures then it's time to stop rebuilding it's time to build a new and and 
get enough of the new energy built up, then if there are some things you need to revisit, then you can bring new to your redo. Um, and and so, yeah, so I'm excited, you know, like I said, about this. Um, just, and I'm so happy, like I said, that we've been uh, doing this work together and continuing to build because uh, even though this isn't new to us, but there are different levels of it that we ourselves are still stepping more into and um, allowing ourselves to start experiencing the higher context and our higher callings to, you know, to this level of work. And so, yeah, no longer can the chief cornerstone be rejected in terms of these new structures, you know, for building. So before I share some of the resources, um, uh, Joseph, uh, and then I'll probably have you give us a close out or so. Did you want to say anything else before I share the resources or should I go right into that? You can go right into the resources. Okay. All right. So um, the first um, resource or offering I would love to introduce, and I brought it up even in the previous um, session, was that uh, Joseph and I have a uh, a playlist on YouTube of eight trainings and a few bonuses, and it is the Multiplicity Preneurs Moments, and it's a very dynamic series, sets up a great foundational premise for the multiplicity entrepreneurship um, concepts. So the, a link to that playlist will be within the description. Um, also, to bring more order to the spiritual alignment, I have a publication that's called Becoming a Consciously Aligned Leader. It is uh, for an emerging conscious leader. It's a mini handbook for aligning with the next levels of your success. I uh, also wanna talk about uh, two action planners on Amazon as well that Joseph and I co-authored together uh, the Conscious Multiplicity Branding Factor for New Era Entrepreneurs. This is a basic introduction to multifaceted branding for next level business success. Um, and uh, Joseph provided the foreword for that particular publication. And then we have Joseph's publication that I was a contributor to. Uh, it's called uh, Brand Building with Multiplicity Entrepreneurship Made Easy how to create multiple streams of revenue with multifaceted branding. Uh, again, these are action planners we co-created together and uh, they are on Amazon. I also have um, two other publications. Uh, one is Wealth is Now. It is a journal and planner guide for creating holistic wealth in the present moment. This really helps to emphasize the power to co-create wealth um, that vibration. And then um, I have your health is your wealth factor. It is a wealth and wellness reset journal planner for entrepreneurs. So these are resources that help to really build upon what we talked about today for the three solid structures. And so those will be of great assistance to uh, help not just foundationally, but start the actual structural building. Um, and then again, I'm going to encourage if you have not, and even if you have, to go back and listen to the first uh, session and ground those other three premises as well and the resources that uh, we also mentioned. So Joseph, before I close out, did you have any closing words uh, that you want to provide? Well, first, I want to say thank you so much for bringing forward this, this new opportunity to really bask in the new wisdom and the new age of business growth, development, and success. And looking at what we're talking about today with respect to structures, when we look at history and we look at geology, we see sometimes that there are buildings that have been constructed, but they were never finished. Mm. So we can see where the process was started, but yeah. somewhere along the line, they decided, no, this is not really 
<laughs> where I want to be putting my energy. So I'm going to put it into the building of another structure. There's an example of that in Egypt where they have certain pyramids mm -hmm. that were not finished. But mm. then you go and you see the grand, the great pyramid and the two pyramids beside it. And of course, you see the step pyramid. Those were finished and completed. So this is the time where we have been working on things in the past. And mm -hmm. it hasn't necessarily been as fruitful as we would like. This is not the time to continue building on that. This is the time to begin to build anew. Yes. Build something different and building a new energy and a new vibration of this time. Absolutely. Allie Nicole, you talked about the caterpillar transforming into the butterfly. Yes. Not every caterpillar is destined to be a butterfly. Some remain in that caterpillar state and that's where they end. At this mm -hmm. time of transformation, if we are going to be butterflies and go into this new era, we're going to have to become something new. That's right. And the butterfly is the highest expression or the highest level mm -hmm. of that caterpillar journey. Yes. This is what we're taking and this is the road that we're on in this process of establishing these solid structures for success. Yes, we have to transform yes. and move into a new energy and create from that place. So Amen. thank you so much for bringing that forward. Woo, thank you. Wow. Amen. Hallelujah. That, oh, wow. That just summed it up so magnificently. Yes. And I, I do agree with you. You know, um, what is interesting is that every caterpillar is encoded to become a butterfly but as you mentioned right. they that that doesn't necessarily happen because some never even get out of the caterpillar phase and they never actually go into the cocoon uh for the mm -hmm. metamorphosis and even if they do some don't survive the metamorphosis to become right the, the the new creation and and so those who are brave enough to follow the deeper calling and understand that you you really don't have a choice at this at this point you have to either become a new or you are going to expire in the state of existing and not thriving you know that you find yourself in so yes i am so looking forward to uh this uh, mini course you know coming out because i know that like i said it's going to be so transformational uh for the whole of an individual and that is what true success is, is the holistic approach to man's uh, soul expression and playing that divinity out, you know, in a higher, uh, at a higher level in the butterfly uh, format. So thank you so much, Joseph. I appreciate it. I'm excited um, for our continuation, you know, with this. Uh, thank you. <laughs> You're most welcome. I just can't thank you enough. So you've heard it, um, listeners. It is time uh, to build a new and to build a new with uh, spiritual multiplicity uh, preneurship. Uh, definitely follow the multiplicity monument empires on uh, Tumblr. We are certainly looking forward to bringing not only this mini course uh, to you, but we have a lot more uh, in store. And then already there's so much that you can partake of that Joseph and I have rendered and, and uh, created together for others to benefit greatly. So uh, we look forward to bringing this course uh, to you. Thank you for taking the time to listen and stay blessed.